This is Octo Marini. She's a, a wide beam boat, 60 foot by 12 feet wide, built by Liverpool Boats in 2006 and fitted out by her original owner. She's been in the same hands actually since she was launched. Nice colour scheme on her, I think. Very good sized side hatch there. That's in the galley. You'll see that as we go through. There's 200 watts of solar power on the roof. Decent sized pram hood at the back. The stern deck itself is a very good size, seven feet six inches long. The stern itself is square. You like those or you don't, it's as simple as that. It gives you quite a lot more room on the back deck. Can make coming out of the lock slightly more awkward if there's not a lot of space, but either way, most people manage. So onto the rear deck here. Nice little dining table here for alfresco dining. That hinges down, those legs come off. In here is the engine room, loads of room in here. The engine itself is an Isuzu 70 horsepower. There's a master volt whisper generator there, 4 kilowatts. Runs off the diesel system. Huge bank of batteries in there, 6 domestics and 1 starter. Garden bench on the back here, that sort of demonstrates the room in, on, in, on this deck. There's the control panel. Little storage locker there in the bottom left. And there's a lockable toolbox over here. Quite handy. She's like a floating apartment, this boat. You could fit a small family on quite comfortably. Down we go. Tiles on the floor, they're really lovely. Coral down the starboard side. In here are various electrical instruments. The inverter is in, in here. That's a uh, 1500 watt Invertec. That's a combined inverter charger and solar controller. And into the first bedroom we go. There's a single bed in here. There's room for bunk beds. You could have a second single bed down this wall where the desk is actually. This room itself is um, eight feet long, so good size. There's a Houdini hatch over. Plenty of Houdini hatches on this boat, by the way. It's a very light boat. Little desk in the corner. So it's a fabulous room, this. You could turn it into a bedroom to accommodate more children, a study. Do what you like, really. Moving forward into the bathroom. The wooden floors in here are oak. There's a quadrant shower on the right hand side there, another Houdini hatch, heated towel rail, the loo itself is a Sunny Marin macerated pump out, and there's a bidet, it's the first boat I've seen with a bidet on, so if you need one of those for whatever reason, there's your solution, ceramic countertop sink, and a lovely shower, the bathroom itself is five feet long, the central heating on this boat, all to mention, has run off a back boiler off the solid fuel stove, which you'll see later on. That does the central heating on the radiators and that towel rail. So into the main bedroom, there's a fixed double bed in here, six feet long, four feet wide, another Houdini hatch. There's a bit of storage under the bed, little dressing table, quite a sweet little thing, on the left of the screen there. There's the storage under the bed. Portholes which open. Portholes throughout the boat, actually. And on we go into the galley. There's a quite a very good sized cupboard here, actually, which is worth showing you. Hanging space left and right. So there are your wardrobes, effectively. Side hatch here on the starboard side with the roof hatch as well. And into the galley, the galley's fabulous, eight feet long. It's got everything you need in here. Very practical arrangement. Hooks in the ceiling for hanging your utensils. This is clever. That hinges up to give you access to the wine rack and the washing machine. It's an eight kilo uh, hot point. Cupboards, drawers, there's lots of storage. The worktops are oak block, stainless steel sink. You won't be short of storage space in this kitchen. There you 
we go. Plenty of room to put things. Nice tiled splashbacks, actually. I quite like those. The cooker itself is a candy gas oven and grill. Domestic size. There's an extractor fan over, actually. And there's a separate fridge. Or integral fridge and freezer there. They're both candy as well. So plenty of room to either chill or freeze things. And on the starboard side, further cupboard space and work surfaces. That's bigger than a lot of, bigger than a lot of kitchens people have at home, actually. And into the huge saloon. This room is lovely. Wooden floor. So much space in here, I'm sure you could play a game of squash. There's the solid fuel stove. I mentioned that has a back boiler that does the central heating as well as the hot water. The hot water, I believe, as well, is also heated by the engine. Now, the whole of the starboard side of this room is oak cabinets and cupboards. On the wall is a huge television, 40 inch Samsung. That's got Panasonic Freeview and Blu ray box. It's a sofa bed in here, another Houdini hatch, two seater sofa bed. And the world deck's a lovely little area for the summer. Glazed cratch board, room for a couple of chairs and table to play games on or eat on or work on your laptop, whatever you like. This room itself is 13 feet 6 inches long. Head height on the boat I've not mentioned, 6 foot 7. Fabulous room this. All the lighting is LED. I've mentioned the solar power. She has a galvanic isolator. 230 volts of the inverter or the generator. There's a landline on board as well. She was last blacked in September 2018. Had four anodes on at the time, they were satisfactory, and she's actually booked for a new engine service in January 2021, so that's going to be done very soon. Lovely bathroom. She comes with all the necessary navigation equipment, including an anchor. And there we are. Octomarini, floating flat really. She's actually at Blisworth Marina, so viewings are strictly by appointment and we have to bear in mind the rules as they change with lockdowns. But for further photographs, fully downloadable brochure and the prize go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk